Okay, this tutorial is about how to walk in Alice. So let's show you what walking looks like in Alice. So this is how people look like when they're walking. It looks pretty realistic with the arms moving with the legs. And I'll teach you how to do this. So you first want to make a function, a procedure. I've already made one called walk. And here you should add in a do together so that all the movements happen together in sync. So you want the person to move forward 0.5 while they're with each step. And you also want the arms and hips to move. So let's do the left so shoulder first. Let's turn it left, this uh, 0.125, so that it isn't too much. And let's do the same for the right shoulder. Now let's do the hips. So the left hip should turn backwards 0 0.06. So you have to do a custom decimal number, or else it will move too much and be unrealistic. And now I'm just going to copy that and do the same for the right hip. So the right hip has to be forward, so they're going in different directions. Okay, now for the walking procedure, the like the main walking procedure, I'm adding a count to three so that it walks three t steps. And it does it three times. And so first, you want to do the same here, move it forward. Actually, just add the whole do together and we can change it. So do together so it's in sync again. And left shoulder turns right this time. And then to make it move over the leg, all the way you have to do it more than you put it the first time so I'm doing it at 0.2 and now I have to change this to right also and do the same with 0.2 now I have to switch these around forward and backwards to make them move in different directions and make this 0.12 so it moves more than it moved before so it moves in front and all the way in back we can repeat this step and just copy and paste it underneath still in the count up to three, but we have to change it again. And backwards, forwards. Now we can leave this the measurements the same for this time. Um, now let's copy paste this again underneath. Change measurements again. And now you do it one more time. Change this again. Okay. Now in order to have it your person go back to normal at the end instead of having their legs and arms extended, you have to go back to do the same thing as in the beginning and have it set it back to normal. So I'm just going to copy paste this underneath the whole count to actually I'm going to copy paste this underneath and you have to take out the move because you don't want it to move anymore you just want it to reset back to normal. And so you want the both measurements to turn right again um, and set it back to the original measurement of um, 0.125 because we, we moved it left in the beginning so you want to set it back to the original position and then change these around again forward and then backwards and then change these back to 0 0.06 so it's back to the normal position as well that way when we go to my first method and put in team person walk which is the procedure we made, we can see that the person does walk normally. 
and realistically. You can see that the arms are back to the normal position and the legs are cut off, but they are too. But thank you for watching this tutorial and yeah, hope you enjoyed it.